As a parent, I love when my children want to spend time with me. I enjoy when they share what's on their mind or ask for help. It warms my heart when they say thank you. Good communication pours the foundation for healthy relationships. That's also true to our relationship with God. Good communication with God centers on reading the Bible to hear God speak to you. And you talking to God through prayer, boys and girls will grow in their relationship with God as they develop these two habits. How can you help boys and girls develop a good prayer habit so that they can grow in their relationship with God? Hi, I'm Caitlin and this is Sunday School Solutions. You can develop a good prayer habit in boys and girls as you teach them to talk to God by using acts as a simple acrostic. A. Adoration. C. Confession. T. Thanksgiving. S. Supplication. Each aspect reveals important truths about our relationship with God. Here is a way you can explain the acts of prayer to boys and girls and use prayer activities to help them develop good prayer habits. A. Adoration. Teach children to adore God by who He is. God is holy, perfect in every way. He is all-powerful, all-knowing, faithful, true, and the creator of all things. He is worthy of our greatest love and respect. For an adoration prayer activity, make slips of paper with God's attributes on them. Allow children to pick a slip and pray, God, I love you because you are, and name the attribute. Remember to include adoration as a part of your prayer time in class or at home. C. Confession. Explain to children that when you love someone, you shouldn't let anything get in the way of keeping a close relationship with them. That means when you do something wrong, you admit it and make it right. That's the idea of confession, and it's important for your relationship with God, too. When you realize you've disobeyed God's word, tell him about it. 1 John 1.9 tells us, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When you believe in Jesus, your sins are forgiven and you become God's child. But to keep close to Him, you need to confess your wrongs and ask God to help you do what is right. When you pray with children, give them a specific time to tell God about their sins and ask Him to help them do what's right. T. Thanksgiving. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You can thank God in all things because He cares for you. Model giving thanks to God in all circumstances by spontaneously thanking God in good times and in hardships. For a Thanksgiving activity, provide a variety of pictures. They could be old photos or photos cut out of old magazines or catalogs. And allow each child to choose one that reminds them something they are thankful for. Then have them take turns thanking God for those blessings. S. Supplication Supplication means asking in a humble way. Everything we have comes from God, so it makes sense to ask Him for anything we need. Help boys and girls understand that God wants them to pray for what they need and also for the needs of others. Things may happen that cause them to worry, but you can look to God to care for them. For a supplication prayer activity, create a poster with Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Write on it, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Before your prayer time, encourage children to write a name on the poster for anyone they want to pray for, then have them take turns praying. Take time to explain the acts of prayer to the boys and girls you teach and use the prayer activities to help them develop good prayer habits. You can read the complete article, Teach Children the Acts of Prayer, at cefonline.com. Join us next time as we take a deeper look into confession and how to have victory over sin.